Hey everybody, Stan Share AK Social Share coming back to you from the road with yet another story. Car sales confessions. With your host, Stan Share. Just kidding. Anyway, a little cheesy moments, right? Alright, so going back, I told you about the training aspect of it. I told you about test driving new cars, but here's where it gets serious. This is where we almost shit our pants. So we save the very, very best for last test driving cars. Don't think they were very bright letting guys like myself, Carl, and uh, Brian drive Honda S2000s. The ver you know, which by the way, I have my regrets. I never bought that car. I wish I did. One of the hottest cars ever made. One of my favorite cars, in my opinion, one of the the best roadster ever made. Honda S2000. Love that car. Manual transmission. Luckily at the time. I was only driving stick, so it was good. Brian raced cars. Cara was a straight car, straight up car guy. He had that pimped out F-150 Ford. He used to have a 37, uh, at the time, 350Z. He's on 350Z. And so um, we were all car people. Them more than me. I knew how to drive, but I wasn't like crazy like race car driver. But I was a good driver. You know, blessed for that. So two-seater car. So, they, so Carl... Tests, Carl didn't have to. He knew what the car drives like. He was good. But they send out these two punk 20-year-old kids, myself and Brian, who who just had a field day. We took the we took out a Honda, a silver Honda S2000. I'll never forget. It was silver. And we took that thing to lengths. We punished that car. Like going 80 and a 35. Like there was this one road where by Academy Honda where they keep their storage a lot, uh Bordentown. Bordentown Road, Bordentown Avenue, that has this really awesome zip like, zip like road. Really great for handling cars. And we, I was, I thought for sure we were gonna get arrested. So we took out an S2000. First, first it was Brian. I let Brian drive, and he was a good driver. Um, so Brian was like, "Damn, like this really is a really nice piece of machinery." Those are his exact words. He was driving, like, I was holding on to the oh shit handle wherever I could find one in the Roadster we punished that car and but the only thing that for me was i didn't have experience driving a real wheel drive car because i had a civic at the time like i had a, a two-year-old civic and i at that point i'd never driven a real wheel drive car so like i could have easily you know caused an accident and destroyed that car and so sure enough i finally get on behind the wheels of it thankfully it was a nice hot summer day and so we we go for a ride, and I'm driving this car, and I'm just like, wow. Um, but when I say it, we punish that car, like, uh, it's, it's amazing the cops didn't get called on us. It's amazing that uh, we just met, we managed to, to get through it. I mean, had we had some serious highways that would allow us to really drive, it would have been insane, off the freaking hook. But um, till this day, one of my favorite cars, and, and I have my regrets because right now, they haven't made this car in 10 years. And right now, to buy a 20-year-old S2000 with low mileage, you're paying more than what you would have paid for a brand new. It was a $31,000 car back then. And I wish I got it when I had the chance. Should have got one. I could have got one for like 17 grand from a senior citizen, and I never got it. Big regrets. When my parents lived in Florida, I could have kept that car in Florida in the garage, and it would have been my baby. But, you know, it is what it is. I missed out. It's like anything else. Don't talk about it, be about it. You like a car, go out there and you buy the car. So anyway, we almost shit our pants. It, it was a great experience. Real wheel drive car. I did, however, have to drive one a couple weeks later. And it was a little cooler out. And I almost turned the car around. Like I was making a turn into a... And the car went like, you know, side a little bit. And I almost pooped myself, not going to lie. Um, but that's because I couldn't have the... Uh, 240 horsepower, 2.2 uh, .2 liter um, car that weighs literally nothing and has all that power and rear wheel drive. And again, you live and learn. So, but anyway, I just figured I would share that story. Not as exciting as the porn story, but um, certainly one of those great stories. I got more coming. Dozens, maybe double dozens. All right, guys. But again, if you're looking to uh, learn more about automotive, check out dealerytraining.com. See what if 
if we can help you with your dealerships, sales training, and BDC training needs. Uh, if you're looking for a uh, motivational leadership sales marketing speaker, reach out to me. And more importantly, go check out my book, Social Sharing Skills That Pay the Bills, available wherever books are sold. All right, thanks. Talk to you guys soon. See you in the next one.